What's going on guys? It's Corbin here for AcousticWorld.net and I wanted to do a quick video for you guys on whether Seagull guitars are any good. Um, they're kind of notorious in the guitar world as a more affordable kind of entry level guitar, um, but one that you get a lot of bang for your buck for. So a lot of the uh, the really popular Seagull models, um, you can get a really, uh, really higher end one for around 500 bucks usually. So um, they're kind of in an uh, entry level to mid tier level um, acoustic guitar, but you know, a lot of people uh, sort of wonder how they stack up against other common brands in the market. So uh, just gonna do a quick run through of what you can expect uh, if you decide to purchase a Seagull guitar. So uh, if you're unfamiliar with them, they're, you can usually distinguish them by, uh, they have a very narrow sort of um, almost diamond shaped uh, headstock, uh, which is pretty unique for an acoustic. Um, the other thing that's nice about Seagulls is they are handmade guitars. Um, it's actually a Canadian brand, um, but to get a, a handmade instrument for, you know, the price point that these guitars go for is really um, a pretty rare feature. So um, all of the woods are pressure tested solid woods. Um, so you get a really rich full sound. Um, you know, the other thing to consider uh, if you are more of a beginner or let's say intermediate acoustic player is, um, you know, sometimes it's better to go the extra mile and spend maybe $500 on a really nice acoustic than spend 200 and get one that is, you know, less than half as good. Um, reason being because uh, frankly, you get what you pay for, and having a nicer quality instrument is going to give you more incentive to learn and to get better faster. So that's just, you know, as an aside, one reason you might want to opt for a Seagull as opposed to, you know, let's say a cheaper brand that goes for maybe $150, $200. Um, in general, guitars at that price point, I new guitars, you know, used as a different story. Um, but new guitars for $200 or less, I kind of steer people away from. I'm just skeptical of the quality. I'd rather see you get a Yamaha or a Seagull for, you know, 300 to 500 bucks. Um, so yeah, handmade in Canada, um, really a great value um, for what you're paying for. And, uh, you know, a lot of people wonder how uh, the company is able to keep price points so low. Um, and one theory is that, uh, you know, uh, essentially the guitars are built domestically. Um, so the wood is, you know, sourced. Um, a lot of the, uh, the margins are cut down by sourcing um, the wood in a very cost effective way is one theory. Um, and then, you know, the guitars are imported into the U.S. at a really uh, reasonable price point, too. So just because they're a Canadian brand, they're not exclusive to Canada. Um, you can find Seagulls at Guitar Center, uh, Musician's Friend. Um, so, you know, if you're new to them, I highly encourage you to play one. Uh, my buddy had one when I was in a band back in high school, and I was impressed as soon as I picked it up um, and couldn't believe when he told me how much it cost. So uh, that's just a quick rundown for you guys. Uh, if you're interested, I have a full uh, blog post slash article that goes into way more detail on this. Uh, so I'll link to that in the description and probably in the comments down below. So if you have any more questions, uh, just let me know in the comments. I know this was a quick video, but uh, yeah, just trying to be direct and helpful. So if you have more thoughts or questions, uh, shoot me a comment and I'll see you next time.